So we're still talking about expectations ahead of tomorrow's budget reading, this time around from the Labour Front, where the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union has called on government to abolish overtime tax. Now the ICU again asked the Minister of Finance, Ken Oforiata, to explain the current state of public sector wage bill. General Secretary of ICU Solomon Kote spoke with our Labour correspondent, Daniel Lopoku, ahead of the budget reading. Secretary of ICU Solomon Kotei recalled the nuisance taxes government abolished in its previous budget statement. But was disturbed since 2017, the ICU has pushed to abolish overtime tax, which have been unsuccessful. For the last time, he has asked the sector minister to scrap the overtime tax or wreak their anger. We have written to this current finance minister pleading with him that overtime tax should be abolished or be drawn to the barest minimum. We've also demanded that clothing allowance taxes must also be abolished. In fact, we will heal them as workers if clothing allowance is actually abolished because this is one particular allowance that we wear it for the image of the institution. In fact, those corporate dresses are not even worn in private homes. We don't take it to private functions. And yet, you know, government find it we're prudent to big taxes on it. This is one typical area as Libra will be looking at. I see you again asked the Minister of Finance to explain the current state of the public sector wage bill. In the 2018 budget, the wage bill was pegged at about 70%. I see one government to issue proper policy direction to address it. 50,000 workers have been recruited here, 30,000 workers have been recruited there. Look at immigration, look at police, look at military. These are all public sector wage bills. And therefore, our caveat and our caution, okay, is that before 2017, okay, the then government that led us into IMF and vowed about to go to IMF again, we got to a situation where over 70% of our revenue are being used to pay public sector, you know, wage bills, okay? And in the last May day, okay, 2019, we had a president lamenting about public sector, you know, wage bill and the debt situation. So is this budget coming to say that what he promised should be cleared in August have actually been cleared? Another area of interest to ICU is for government to explain how much it has earmarked to support the growth of one district, one factory. ICU says when this is made operational, it will address the current unemployment situation in the country. The union urged the finance minister to address the current state of bad roads. Now, every blessed day you wake up in Ghana, our roads are bad, it's no more trouble, no street lights, etc., etc. Then it has happened like if you don't cry, they don't come to your aid. Whether this budget will show us a roadmap as to how those major trunk roads or even roads that are bypass and leakages will actually be looked at. We've all been yearning and waiting to see the railway take off. And the railway ministry, we want to see what budget allocation is going there.